Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we showed you how to find the equivalence of R1 in terms of RA, RB, RC in a delta to Y conversion. So let's now find out how we, how we figure out R2 in terms of RA, RB, RC. So we'll have to group them together differently. So to get R2, we're going to add this and this together on the left side and subtract this from the left side. So in that case, we're going to take R1 plus R2, we're going to add that to this, so plus R2 plus R3, and subtract from that R1 and R3. And on the right side, of course, we have to do the same. We're going to add this to this and subtract this from it. So we end up with RA, RB, plus RA, RC, plus adding these, R A R C plus R B R C and then subtract from that these two which is R A R B and minus R B and R C and I'm running out of room there okay and the whole thing divided by the common denominator of R A plus R B plus R C so after we've done that what do we end up on the left side well, we have an R1 here and a negative R1, so they cancel. And we have an R3 and a negative R3, they cancel. So on the left side, you end up with 2 times R2. On the right side, let's see here. We have an AB and a minus AB. So this cancels out with that. We have an AC, and no, we don't have that. We have a plus BC and a minus BC, so those cancel out. So that means on the right side, we end up with two of these, which is 2 times RA times RC divided by the common denominator of RA plus RB plus RC. And here is our second equation. If we get rid of the twos on both sides, we can now see that R2 is equal to the product of RA times RC divided by the sum of the three resistors. And that's how we find the equivalent resistance of R2 in the Y circuit as compared to the delta circuit. And that's how it's done.